Morning guys, it's been a while since I vlogged. Welcome to a new one for today. I'm going to be showing you what's going on lately and just what I'm going to be doing today. Um, it's been quite a while. Um, the last time I vlogged was, I don't know, probably like a month ago and a lot has changed for sure. But as of now, I just got out of bed. Sorry, my hair kind of looks like a potato. I went home this weekend, but I didn't have the chance to get a haircut just because, yeah, I just didn't have time. So now it's just getting really long. I'm going to have to wait another two weeks until I get back for Thanksgiving. So that's the thing. But yeah, come along with me for this ride. Um, yep, yeah, I'm just going to get ready and then we're going to head to lunch and where I'll probably meet up with Dan. So you'll see him. Well, got lunch, like pretty much the same thing I always get every week that I just need to stop getting, but it's so good. General Gao's chicken. I think I have a serious addiction to this, but it's so good. So, we got Classic Dan here deciding to copy me by getting the same exact thing as me. Can you explain your reasoning for why you got the same exact thing as me, Dan? It was the shortest line. I really wanted a buffalo sub. But you had to listen to what the Kev Dog wanted because the Kev Dog knows best, right, Dan? Let me tell you, this happens on a weekly basis with Dan, that's for sure. Well, just got out of my psychology class. I really enjoy that class, but now I'm heading to probably my least favorite class because I switched my major recently, but this class is still part of my old major, and now it just feels shitty to be taking it because not part of my major anymore so yay pointless class woohoo <laughs> I wish I could withdraw from it but no I can't I really just I really don't want to fail it so I gotta do it but yeah it is what it is psychology is fun though right now we're talking about memory actually which is really interesting like how memory works in us well I just came back to my dorm just to get some quick Gatorade just to fuel up and man, is it dark in here, jeez. Oh my god, my roommate is like a vampire. I'm just kidding, but yeah, that's a little better. Jeez, man, let in the light. Does it kill you? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, just gonna grab a quick Gatorade, fuel up. Plus I got, I got let out of my class early. Anyways, so I have a good amount of spare time just to chill out, so. I'm gonna grab this Gatorade and head to my next class. Well, just got out of my last class, uh, making the trek to go see Dan now, because he usually likes to wait for a chill out, because he commutes now, to wait for him before his class. So, I'm gonna go chill with him for a bit. But yeah, survive class. Eh, not the most fun, but, eh, it's alright. Well, just got back from the ACC. I was actually hanging with Dan, but then I decided to, to hang out there a little longer and watch YouTube videos because I was too lazy to um, just go back. So I was just kind of chilling out there for a while. Right now it's like 4.15. I want to go to the gym, but at the same time, I also just want to chill out and watch Netflix. So I'm probably going to do that for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm probably going to watch some Friends. It's one of the many Netflix shows that I've been getting into. I've been trying to juggle all these shows now, including Dragon Ball Z, which I've shown that I expressed interest for uh, in the last vlog. Uh, as of now, I'm actually in season seven of that show. I've been getting really into it, but um, I haven't been watching as much lately just because I try to like balance out all these shows that I'm watching. So I'm, I'm kind of trying to mix it up with Friends, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and Dragon Ball Z. But yeah, after that, I'll probably end up going to the gym. I'm not going to take you to the gym with me, but you'll, you'll see uh, the aftermath of it and when I'm going. Alright guys, well, I'm going to head to the gym, but first, I'm going to actually refill this water bottle here that I've actually been using for the past two weeks that's come in very good use because I just can't stand buying water bottles anymore, like Poland Spring Water, just because I go through it so fast. Like, I'd, I'd be drinking, like, two waters a day, which means, like, I'd use, like, a 24-pack in at least, like, two weeks. So, like, it just wasn't working. Like, I'd have to buy, like, like two 32-packs just to last, like, a month or something like that. Like, like it's just n not worth it. So, I figured I might as well save money, use these, 
and it's just very handy just to have it with you and I mean it costs $17 but I'm gonna make it worth it by using it all the time and that's $17 each so um, yeah I definitely plan to get my money's worth but by, by uh, using these um, and hopefully never have to buy bottled water again so it'll make it worth it oh my god so the craziest thing just happened earlier so earlier um, I kind of like slowed down talking a little bit I noticed and the reason why I did that was because I noticed somebody's credit card was on the ground I was like all right I should just be a good person and just help out do my civic duty you know help uh, return this to whoever lost it so the thing I do so I proceed to so I proceed to bring it to the concierge desk where they kind of like help with that kind of stuff I guess and it's so ironic because I didn't even look at the name but it happened to be the manager of the concierge desk and the guy there knew her and they wrote like an email to her saying hi Elizabeth you have lost your credit card <laughs> that's someone returned your credit card to the concierge desk please come retrieve it here <laughs> just like ultimate irony but Hey, I'm glad I could help them out by by helping it get back, helping that helping get that back to them. So, hey, um, that's my good deed of the day, I guess that I just did right there. All right, I'm gonna be heading to the gym now, though. It's so weird, cause like, I mean, like, I can't really like change here, but like when I'm there, I have to like change in the bathroom. They don't really have like a locker room, or at least not that I know of. I really wish they did. I feel like they would just feel better doing that rather than having to use a stall to change into my gym clothes like I can't just change here because it would be cold to walk over there so it's kind of weird when I do that but it is what it is I mean I got my stuff here and they, they do have lockers for you to put your stuff in at least which is good but yeah I'm gonna be heading over there so I'll catch you guys after I finish up my workout well back from my workout uh, I was it went pretty good Oh, I was a sweaty mess from that, but I'm just glad to be out of those first clothes. Like, I never sweat that much, like, anywhere else. But here, like, when I'm, like, running three miles, like, I sweat so bad. Like, you can actually see it in my shirt, like, when other people sweat. Like, that's, like, the only place where that happens is there. It's just, like, I get, like, so gross from all that. But heading to dinner now, anyways. I almost freaking lost my wallet because I, I take it out of my pocket when I go to the gym and put it in my bag. So I left it in that bag, so thank god I didn't lose that, I just forgot it. But yeah, kind of heading to the dining center, getting some good food after that workout. Mm -hmm. Well, dinner was good, uh, the stir fry was nice, and while I was eating it, I, I just like was thinking, guys, like, I can't believe this election, like, what, it, it, how, like, how much I'm just tired of it like still going like I just can't wait for it to be over like every everywhere I go like it seems like it's just being like advertised to me like different ads for Donald Trump different ads for Hillary Clinton different ads to just go vote and it's just like oh my god I just can't get away from this I just don't like listening to things that like remind me of all this negative stuff like like I don't get why people like watching the news like I don't like I don't get enjoyment out of watching shitty things that are happening right now like I've already got enough shitty things going on in my life so why should I watch that and it's just like with this election even if I don't watch the news it's still gonna be like shown to me and reminded of how shitty it's been this this year so I just can't wait for it to be over that's all I gotta say well I said I would give myself a break from watching DBZ sorry my hair is like a potato I know but I said I would give myself a break from watching DBZ, but I'm um, probably not actually just because I'm so addicted to watching the show, even though I really feel like this season isn't as good, season 7, and I was kind of upset by the ending of season 6 anyways, and I really want to watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer and kind of like switch off with those so I can kind of like fairly distribute like which shows I watch when. But I think I'm probably going to try to watch both, though, tonight. Both Buffy the Vampire Slayer and DBZ, even though I've already watched Friends today. So it's three Netflix shows in one day. So, yeah. Great. <laughs>
But yeah, I really want to also watch like The Flash though too and start season three of Parks and Rec soon, probably when I finish one of these seasons of shows. You know, I'll kind of like go on a season break for one of them. You know, I just kind of, I just kind of, kind of try to like filter out which ones I watch when. So that's just how that is. Oh my god. So I've been watching Dragon Ball Z and like, man, like, it wasn't that interesting, but then, oh my god, did it get interesting. Like, the first five episodes of the first, of the seventh season just didn't seem that interesting to me. But then after that, it takes a completely different turn. Well, sorry for that cut off. Uh, my friend Morgan actually walked in. I was actually talking with her for about an hour, uh, watching different things, different things on videos and playing how school is going and stuff. But anyways, Dragon Ball Z, yes, it has gotten so much better after those five episodes. Like, the, the, the intro completely changed, and it's just a whole new setting with Gohan and the characters on Earth. I mean, like, after, like, the first five episodes with just Goku on the other world, when he's already dead, like, it's just not that amusing to me when he's, like, already dead, and it's just him fighting with all these other guys. I just didn't like it that much, but with this new setting on Earth, though, I'm really taking a liking to this much better. So... Well, I'm going to start working on some homework there, I'm going to have to, because I have a, some weird policy thing I have to do tonight, and, um, yeah, and then I also have to work on this sales activity for my professional selling class, so, yep, I have a workout for me, and it's 11.30, I mean, a lot of people are tired or ready to go to bed, but, no, 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 my night is far, far from over. I just tell you guys that. So there's still much more things to come today. For real though, guys, I gotta say I really just don't wanna do work at all. Like when you're a junior in college, I mean, I feel like a lot of you guys might feel the same thing. Like you really just don't wanna do school stuff anymore. And after a while, it's just really hard to stay motivated, you know? Like, after being in school for so long, you know, freshman year of college, you're like, oh, okay, well, I can still kind of deal with this, I guess. And then sophomore year, it's like, okay, this is kind of starting to suck. And then junior year, it's like, wow, I really just don't want to do this anymore at all. So it's like, I can't imagine what senior year will be like, Jesus. Like... Uh, that's the reason why I always wait until the end of the day to do my homework, just because, like, I'm so, like, dreading towards just, just doing any sort of schoolwork that I wait until, like, I don't, I don't wait until the last minute when something's due, but a lot of times I'll wait until the end of the day to do it, just because, you know, I want to I wanna get work done during the day, but at the same time, you know, I'm just dreading it so much that I'll put it off all the way until, like, midnight. Which is right now pretty much 11.45. So, it just sucks. I really just... I just wish life could just be... Not... This. Like, not... Having to deal with the stress of work. But, I mean, I guess I could always have it worse. I mean, I'm... I'm sure there's a lot of people out there... People watching this, perhaps, who... Have it worse than me. So, I guess I should feel lucky. But, I just... I just hate still doing schoolwork. Uh, hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Well, fast forward three hours later, 3.45 a.m., guys. Um, as it stands now, uh, I kind of got some work done, but at the same time, I really didn't. I didn't really start doing homework until, like, one. I was on my Facebook and all my other social media. Like I always am a lot, uh, for about like an hour, and I took a shower, and finally got to working on some homework around like two. So, I got a little bit done, but not a ton. But, it is what it is, um, I'm just so, like, conflicted right now, because like, I'm skipping this assignment, because like, I don't want to do it because it's not impacting my grade, but like, and it's also for the class that I hate, so like, I guess, I mean, I hope you guys can kind of see why I would, 
I usually don't skip assignments, but I really just think this is a stupid assignment because it has no direct impact to our grade unless maybe it impacts participation. I don't know. But I just think it's dumb and I wasn't. And the way the assignment looked, like it just didn't look like an assignment I'd do good on. I don't want to do something I'm not going to do good on anyways, unless I put like, unless I feel like I'm going to do well anyways. But, I mean, that's not the main reason, but yeah. But anyways, but anyways, I got a little bit of homework done, and uh, I'm not going to be going to bed. This, this is actually kind of earlier for me than my other nights have been. <laughs> Three, 3.45, yeah, early. Who would have thought? Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's uh, been quite the night. <laughs> not a whole lot of work got done, but, yeah, it's okay. That's going to do it for this fun, adventurous day. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Please make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Bye.